Good evening. Hello, William, Freddy. Estenia, welcome to the class. Okay, I will share some material in this moment. Hi, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Teacher, voy a estar por, por un momento de, de oyente, pero en cuanto ya esté en casa, yo me le, le comunico porque estoy casi por salir de la oficina. 104, 104, Estenia. Enterado, enterado. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then I have another message here. Okay, good. Oyente, right? Okay, good. Another message. Okay. Now let's begin, right? Last class we were learning about how to use there is, right, and there are. There is is used in a singular form, right? <clears throat> Example, right? There is a an ATM across the street. Um, there is a, or there's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There's no clothing factory around the corner. There is, right? Notice that here we have some affirmative and negative, right? You can say uh, there is, there isn't, or there's no. Look. There is, a, there is, right, affirmative. There isn't, or there is no, or contraction. There's no. Good right? night, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Jessica Carolina, welcome. <laughs> Eh, teacher, solo que voy a tratar de estar eh, este, escuchando y todo, pero es que voy a estar trabajando desde la casa. Unas cosas que me han pedido del trabajo. Ok, I understand. But eh, remember, Monday no, no excuse, right? Monday is obligation. Remember, right? Ok, thank you, Carolina. And try to complete the, the platform, please. Ok, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, excelentoso, yeah. excelentoso, right? <laughs> okay, good. No problem, Jessica Carolina. It's a pleasure, right? Okay, class. So, <clears throat> affirmative, negative, but in the negative, listen, it's a special form. Instead of say there isn't, you can say there is no. It's other possibility. For example, there is a refrigerator, right? Oh, there isn't a refrigerator. Oh, there is no refrigerator. Okay. These are the, the forms we can use affirmative and negative, right? In using there is. Something similar happened with there are. Look. There are. And then we use some quantifiers in this case. There are a lot of, you can say there are some and you can say there are no. And in this context, you have to say uh, plural, right? You have to say 
plural. So, for example, we say uh, there are a lot of cars. There are some cars. There are no cars. Plural, right? Remember, there is and there are has the same meaning in Spanish. No hay. Right? No hay. That is the meaning. Okay? Good. And when I say quantifiers, uh, some there, there are some words like uh, a lot, some, any in some cases, right? That you can that you can use, right? Uh, in plural form, right? Quantifiers. Any question? Any question? Okay. Now we're going to make this exercise, right? There is or there are? What is the correct one? Good. There is a marketing presentation or there are marketing presentation? What do you think? Uh, Elsa? I oh, know. Oh, yes. Elsa, yes. Help me, Elsa. There is. There is, correct, because it's singular, right? There is a marketing presentation, right? Next one. Irenia, please. Uh, number two, right? It says there some. Uh-huh. There are. There are a lot. There are some. What do you there think? Uh-huh. Well, look. The indication, Erenia, that we have to use some, right? So there are. In Spanish, you say algunos, right? There are. Some. There are some, correct. There are some businesses, those some business workshop down the street, right? Okay, thank you. Now, recruitment centers and the word no, right? William, what do you think is the correct answer here? There is or there are, William? There. Ah, you're driving. Okay. There are. And because it's negative, no. we say no, right? Correct. Thank you, William. So there are no recruitment centers around the building, right? There are no recruitment centers. Okay. Good. Let's go to number four, right? Store. Store is negative, right? Okay, Gracia Maria, can you help me, please? Tour on the corner. Gracias, Maria. Hello. Do you hear me? Just to check, permit. Okay. So there is or there are. What is the correct? And remember, in this case, class, we're going to use the word not, right? There is. There is. Right? There is. And then? No. There is no. Correct. There is no store on the corner of the room. Right? Number five. Brenda Lee, can you help me, please? It says banks. There is or there are, Brenda Lee?
Do you copy, Brenda Lee? Okay, so, Maria Rene, can you help me, please? Banks behind the factory were, right? Maria Rene, Maria Rene, presentarse a cabina. There is or there are. Okay, so, Jonathan, can you help me, Jonathan? There are. There are, correct. Excelente uso, yes. Brenda Lee le había puesto el teacher ahí en, en texto. Ah, okay. que... Thank Ajá. you. Thank you. Let me check. What Brenda Lee says. Is it... Ah, ok. María René y Brenda Lee, estamos en una fiesta de la empresa y no los invitamos. Yuhu, yuhu. Ah, ah, sorry, I don't understand it. No problem. <laughs> okay, Brenda Lee and, and, and Maria Rene, no problem. I understand you're working. You're working. I know, right? Good. So let me copy here, right? Brenda Lee working, right? Okay. Brenda Lee. Uh -huh. And Maria Rene. Okie dokie. Good. So now Aranza building around the corner. Aranza building, right? So there is a or an. Do you, can you help me, Evelyn? Please. There is a an or there are. Miss Fuente. There is. There is. There is. Okay. Very good. Thank you. The princess is crying. Oh. Okay, good. There is ah, right? There is no oh, no 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 sorry there is an because it's start with it start with a, a vowel, right? There is an Aranza building around the corner. <laughs> Good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. There are some business workshops down the street. There are no recruitment centers around my building. There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. There are banks behind the factory I work. There are banks behind the factory I work. You can say behind or you can say behind, right? Good. Number five, it says number one, but you know it's number five. There is an Aranza building around the corner. Okay, Brenda, please, can you read the six sentences by your own? Only you, Brenda. Only you. Okay, Brenda. 
there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. There are some some business workshop down the street. There are no there are no re recruitment centers around my building. There is a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. In this case, there it's are, negative, right? There is no, right? There is no. Uh -huh. There Continue. is no. Mm -hmm. There are there are banks behind the factory I work. There, there is an uh, Aranza building, building 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 around the corner. Thank you very much, Brenda. Thank you very much. Dudley, we need you. Te necesitamos, Dudley, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, any question, class? No questions? Okay, now, let's start with tonight's presentation, right? Let's start with tonight's presentation. Okay, let me see. Huh? I didn't open the presentation. My goodness. Oh, well, give me a second. Documents, English Corporativo, PowerPoint presentation, basic one, class number 18, right? Opening, opening, opening. Okay, it's ready now. Class, in this moment, I will share with you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation for tonight. Oh, sorry. Welcome to the presentation for tonight. Right? This is basic module one, beginner one. And the topic is preposition of place, practice. We're going to practice all the preposition of place, right? Okay. The objective. What is the objective? Jonathan, can you read the objective for the class, please? Unit for address and place. Place, places. Mm -hmm. Places. Mm -hmm. uh, I will be available to describe. Describe. Describe how many and other working place and address look like. Good, thank you, thank you, Jonathan. So we're going to learn about uh, my lo the location of my company, right? And the other places around my company, eh? Good. And when you describe, what do you do? Well, you use adjectives, right? Adjective, for example, we say, there are comfortable rooms, comfortable, right? There is a huge, you know, big parking lot. Parqueo gigante. Right? There are nice places to rest. To rest, right? There is an illuminated training room. Oh, nice. An illuminated training room is good. Good. But some adjectives sometimes are not, how can I say, <clears throat> good, right? For example, narrow means, you know, a stretcher, right? There is a narrow reception area. When you go, you go like this, right? 
Okay, narrow. There are small offices. Oh, those are small offices, right? Where you are in a cubicle, right? Cubicular. Only you and your computer. So there is a disgusting yak kitchen area. There is a smelly, ooh, a pestoso, right? Smelly living room. Smelly living room. Okay. Now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Repeat. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. Illuminated. There is an illuminated training room. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. There is a smelly living room. Okay, very good. In the meantime, you pay attention to these sentences. I will take the attendance, right, Elsa? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jessica Lee. Kenya. Present teacher, estoy ahora aquí en el hospital. Ah, ok, hoy es jueves, entiendo, lunes y jueves, entiendo. Eh, pero, ¿va a participar o solo quiere estar de oyente? Eh, voy a tratar de participar porque ahorita no hay mucho ruido acá. Ah, ok, good, thank you, thank you. Now, eh, gracias María. Present teacher. Thank you, Delia. Teacher me mencionó, soy Delia, es que voy manejando para mi casa, pero ya voy a llegar. Listener, listener, right? Yes, no problem. I understand. Ya recibí su mensaje en el WhatsApp, en el chat, en el Facebook, en Instagram, en Twitter. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, right? Drive. Maneja tranquila, no me preocupe. Ok. Eh, Ada. Miss Romero Reyes, Miss Romero Reyes. Okay, no. Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, eh, Brenda. Present. Ingrid. José Atilio. Evelyn. Present teacher. Thank you. William. Present. Thank you. Erenia. Present. Very good, right? Now. Oh, I have a question here. Let me see. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Uh, you say that you're going to be a listener, Jessica? Jessica. Carolina, yes. Jessica Carolina, listener, right? Me dijo mm. que iba a estar de oyente. Jessica, no, ¿sí? No pude estar en las dos obsesiones en la computadora. Voy a I estar know. aquí. 
I know, it, it, because you're, work, you're working, right? Es, está trabajando, me dijo. Sí, lo que pasa sí. es que en la laptop tengo que estar en las dos sesiones y no puedo. Entonces voy a estar en la, en la clase. I know, pero mi pregunta es, ¿puede participar o como usted me había sí. dicho que va a estar de oyente? Sí, voy a poder participar. Ah, okay. Very good. Ok, Jessica Carolina. Ok. Thank you. Now, uh, Freddy present. Brenda Lee present. Ah, uh, yes. Eh, los de oyente, los que están de oyente, no los mencioné. Ok, si usted me pidió que va a estar trabajando de oyente, no se preocupe, ya le anoté la asistencia. Ok. Un punto menos, pero va a estar. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. That's okay, and I understand. Uh, good. Now, let's continue, right? Solo mm, entiendo que Jessica Araceli no está, ni Ara, ni Ingrid, right? Los demás están presentes como oyentes o como participantes. Yes? Repito. Repetition. Ingrid. Ada. En Jessica Araceli, right? Todos los demás ya les puse asistencia. Good. Now let's continue, right? Uh, by the way, Jessica Carolina, can you read the sentences for affirmative or positive adjectives, please? Read. Positive. Please. There are comfortable rooms. Comfortable? There. Comfortable? Constable. Yeah. Constable rooms. There is a huge, 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 huge parking lot. Gigante, right? It's huge. Huge. There are nice places to rest. Places. Places to rest. There is. An illuminator training room. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Right now, Erenia, can you read the negative adjectives, please? Narrow, small, disgusting, and smelly. There is a narrow reception area. Area? Area. 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 There are small offices. Oh. Huh? Sorry, there, there, there are small. There are small office. offices. There, offices. Mm -hmm. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Smelly, right? Mm. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Arenia. Thank you, Jessica Carolina, for your reading. Now, with this information, we're going to describe what are adjectives, right? When you describe a place, not only a place, you can describe people, animals, objects, etc., etc., right? You can describe few lies, etc. Well, adjectives are words that describe or modify other words. For example, small, blue, big. Those are descriptive adjectives descriptive adjectives ladies and gentlemen descriptive adjectives and they are when you say small and blue those are descriptive right? the adjectives are usually positioned before the noun ante del nombre right or pronoun that they modify so you say the big car you don't say the car big the car big <laughs> no no the big car You don't say the 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 car red, no? the red car. Okay, you don't say the beauty, the house beautiful, no, the beautiful house. So they are before the noun. Okay. And in a sentence, you can find multiple adjectives, not only one, right? You say, for example, the big, beautiful, and nice house. Okay. Very good. Any question?
No question. Okay, good. Continue. Okay, what are some examples of, the, of descriptive adjectives? Long, red, strong, rainy, big, salty. Okay, also we have some proper nouns, Salvadorian food, Mexican people, Salvadorian pupusas, you know? And the articles, ah, the, and the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 those are adjectives. In other words, adjectives are infinite. Since numbers are infinite, so adjectives are infinite. Demonstrative. We have the demonstrative adjectives, these, that, these, those. And finally, the possessive adjective, right? My, your, his, her, their, are, its, right? Okay, que lo vimos, ¿verdad? Okay, good. Now, let's continue. Good. Let's read, right? How to use adjectives before nouns. Okay. Long street. A long street, right? Tight shoes. Zapatos apretados, right? Tight shoes. A red and black tie. <clears throat> okay. Street. Street is a noun. Shoes is a noun. Tie is a noun, right? So we say long, a long street. Tight shoes. Notice that when I say ah, it's singular. Only one street. But when you say tight shoes, you don't say ah, tight shoes. No. Because it's like you say in Spanish, un zapatos apretados. <laughs> no, right? Okay. And you can use two adjectives, right? Or more. Here we have two, a red and black tie. Right, tie is the noun. Shoes and street are the nouns. And long, tight, red and black are the adjectives, right? Adjectives don't change. For example, we say a clean office, una oficina limpia, una. And clean offices, oficinas limpias. In Spanish, we say oficinas limpias, right? But in English, clean. Don't say cleans offices. <laughs> cleans offices. No. Okay. Incorrect. Cleans offices. No. It's clean offices. It doesn't change. With singular or plural, clean. Good, bad, long, etc. Et right? They don't check. Place very before adjective, right? The word very and also the word so are in intensifier. For example, we say the window is very long. Or you can say the window is so long. It's a very long shirt. Okay, very is an intensifier. We say long shirt, una camisa larga, but when, when you say it's a very long shirt, you say it's una camisa muy larga. Muy... Okay, good. Now, here we have some examples, correct and incorrect. Cleans offices, no, it's clean offices. A window long. No, it's a long window, long window, right? First, the adjective. Good. Any question?
Questions? Okay, give me a second. Se acaba de presentar Ada e Ingrid. Welcome to the class. Okay, and Ingrid. Okay, thank you very much. Let's continue, right? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Por qué es incorrecto window long? Y uh, correcto long window. Okay, because window is the noun. Recuérdese que el nombre debe ir después del adjetivo. Y en este caso, window es un nombre. Es un nombre, right? Now. The window is a noun. Pero eh, long es un adjetivo, right? Se, el adjetivo debe ir antes del nombre en inglés. Hay una excepción con el uso del verbo to be, pero de momento, para introducir el tema, quiero decirles que siempre van a poner el adjetivo antes del nombre, ¿ok? ¿Understand, Jonathan? Sí, teacher, sí. Yes, yes, yes. Ahora sí. Ok. Porque en el caso de window long, el que es el, que es el adjetivo es long. Entonces, se debe ir primero, right? Ok, good question. Good question. Así me gusta que pregunten, right? Any other question? No more questions? Are you sure no questions? Please, if you have questions, make the question. Yes? Nye. Okay, good. If no question, let's continue, right? No problem. Good. Now here we have some sentences using adjectives, right? Number one, please volunteers, raise your hands. Camera on. Teacher. Camera. Teacher. Thank you, Delia. Please. Uh, they, they like blue, uh, blue shoes. They like blue shoes. shoes. Sorry, let me tell you, Delia, that you're totally oh. right. Correct. Yes. They like blue shoes, right? Es que estos son pitufos, pero les gustan los zapatos. Blues. Yeah. Okay. Good. Number two, please, volunteers. Volunteers, where are you, volunteers? Wake up. Despertemos. Yes. Camera on. Camera encendida. Camera encendida, please. Ya pasó la hora del coffee. Ahorita a descubrirnos todos con la cámara. Yes. <laughs> Good. Volunteers. Number two. Come on, boys and girls. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. No, no, no. Please relax. Only one student. No more. No quiero que participen todos. Solo uno. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. Don't worry. I will help you. Yo le voy a ayudar. Vamos. Um... Thank the you, workers, Jessica Carolina. Uh -huh. The workers need don't white shirts. The workers uh, don't need uh -huh. white shirts at the company. White shirts. Shirts. Sorry, shirts. A uh, the company. The workers don't need white shirts at the company. The workers don't need. Okay. Dino, ayúdame aquí, Dino. Help me, please, Dino. Verificame si está buena la oración. Okay, no problem. Let me see. The workers don't need white shirts 
Dino, rápido. Oh, ok, ok, sorry. The workers don't need white shirts at the company. Satisfy. Ok, sorry. Perdón por la escena ahí con, con Dino. Ok. The workers don't need white shirts at the company. Perfect. Nice. Good. Number three. Number three. Volunteers. Number three. Number three. Volunteers. Yes, Delia again. <laughs> Ico, Our... ¿cómo, ¿Cómo vamos a dejar solita a Delia? Solo ella me está okay. participando. Bueno, solo casi, Delia. <laughs> okay, our, Delia. Our, our clothes. Our are clothes. Dirty. Our clothes. Our clothes. Our clothes are dirty. Are dirty, right? Excellent. Like the, like the joke, right? Como la bromita que hacen por teléfono. Aló, aló. Sí, disculpe, lavan ropa ahí. No, uy, qué sucios. <risa> ok, number four, right? Volunteers. Yo, teacher. Okidoki, Jessica. Vamos, come on, let's do it. Ingrid, teacher. Ah, Ingrid, oh. Ingrid. <risa> ya ven, enciendan la cámara para verlas. Si no, miren, me pierdo. <laughs> ok, thank no, you, Ingrid. Todavía no llego acá, teacher. Ah, ok, very good. They are very nice. The teacher is that. <clears throat> I'm sorry, no, they are. Very nice. They are very nice. Thank you very much. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. They like blue shoes. The workers don't need white shirts at the company. Our clothes are dirty. You can say dirty or dirty. The two are correct. They are very nice. My students are very nice. Right? My students are very nice. Mm -hmm. Good. So, Ingrid, can you read the sentences again for the class, please? Thank you. Read. Ah, oh, no, Ingrid is walking. Ya, yeah, ya me acordé. Ingrid está caminando. Yes, yeah, que. Yes. Que se las... to, yeah, please to read, to read. Yes. They like blue shoes. The workers don't need white shirts of the company. Our clothes are dirt, dirty. Dirt. 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 They are very nice. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's continue, class. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, sentence number five, six, seven, eight, and nine, right? Volunteers number one, please. Number five, I'm sorry. Number five. Hey, teacher. Okay, thank you, Elsa. Uh, these products aren't cheap. These products... Aren't cheap. Okay, these products aren't cheap. Thank you very much. Number six, please. It's so expensive. Thank you, Gracia Maria. It's so expensive. So is similar to say very. Very expensive, so expensive. For example, I don't know, uh, Toyota Corolla 2023. Oh, it's so expensive, right? A house in Colón Escalón. Oh, it's so expensive, right? The house of Lionel Messi. Oh, <laughs> so expensive, right? <laughs> okay, good. Number seven, volunteers. They are in closet. 
William en... Ok, William number seven en number eight. ¿Quién más me habló? Gracias, María. Elsa, ¿quién, quién me habló? Yo, teacher. Yo, yo, yo. ¿Quién yo? Ingrid. Ingrid, ok. Thank you, Ingrid. Ingrid, you, you make number eight, right? Thank you. Now, William, number seven, please. Come on, boy. The, mm, I don't know, Rick. It looks fake. Uh -huh. There, there is correct, right? Let's copy there, right? There. But there what? They're clean, they're close. Clean. Okay, clean is an action. Let me see. No, no, sorry. It's an adjective. Right? Oh, pero, no, let, let me see. The problem is with R, right? Es que el problema, el verbo to be, déjeme ver. They're close. Ah, okay, wait, wait a minute. Perdón, eh, voy a explicar algo, William, antes de que siga con... Ok. <clears throat> Let me see. Eh, we say that when we use an adjective, right? We use first the adjective. And then we use the noun, right? So clean, clothes, ropa limpia, right? But the only exception, la única excepción de poner primero el, el nombre, después el adjetivo, is when we use the verb to be. Siempre que vamos a usar el verbo to be, vamos a poner eh, primero el nombre y después el adjetivo, right? For example, I can say, my car is big, right? Notice, primero va el, el nombre, my car, Luego va el adjetivo, be. But the only difference is, in this case, that we use is. Okay? Siempre que usamos el verbo to be, primero el nombre y después el adjetivo. En los demás casos, primero el adjetivo y después el nombre. Ok. Perdón que lo le explique hasta ahorita, pero el ejemplo aquí lo, lo, lo amerita. ¿verdad? Ok, William, creo que ya, ya más o menos me captó, ¿verdad? So there, there plus here, the clothes, the clothes are right. Are clean. Ah, huh? are what? Clean are clean. Ah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Sorry, no le había escuchado bien. The clothes are clean. Nice, excelentoso, William. Okay, number eight. Ingrid, Ingrid Marisol. Our need employees. Our new employees. No, need. Need. Ah. Wait a minute. But need is an adjective, right? Uh -huh. Yes. So mm -hmm. our new or new shoes or, or new employees. Employees. Employee, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Need shoes. Need. Shoes. But listen to me, right? Yo creo que aquí se presta dos, a dos ideas. Primero, o los zapatos son los nuevos o los empleados son los nuevos, ¿verdad? <laughs> Cualquiera de las dos, podemos decir... Or employees need new shoes. Or new employees need shoes. Uh, ¿Cuál le suena mejor? Yo creo que suena mejor la, la primera, ¿verdad? Yes, Nuestros empleados necesitan nuevos zapatos. ¿verdad? Porque no van a ir descalzos los empleados. <laughs> ok. Need. Ah, sorry. Need new. Shoes, right? Los empleados que trabajan con nosotros necesitan nuevos zapatos. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one, number nine, right? Volunteers.
Number nine, please. Number nine, number nine. Ding. Okay, volunteers. So this we... shirt. Uh huh. This shirt is thin. Yeah. Eh, thin. No sé cómo es que se dice. Ah, uh, tight. Tight. Is shirt... tight. Uh huh. Very is small. Okay. This shirt in a small, we want to say, right? Okay. This shirt in a small. small. It's very tight. It's very tight. This shirt in a small. Uh -huh. This shirt, esta camisa eh, de medida pequeña, or the small, is very tight. Me queda muy apretada. Right? Okay. Very good. Now, repeat after me, please. Ready? Repeat after me, Klaus. These products aren't cheap. Their clothes are clean. No, sorry. It's so expensive. Their clothes are clean. Our employees need new shoes. Our employees need new shoes. This shirt in small is very tight. Okay. Gracias, María. Gracias, María. Can you read it again, please? Me lea todas las oraciones. Gracias, María. These products aren't cheap. It's expensive. Their clothes are clean. Our employees need new shoes. The shirt in small is very tight. Okie dokie, good reading. Now let's continue, right? Oh, that, 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 that's all, folks. Eh, eh, eso es todo, amiguitos. Good, any question? Any question about this topic, class? In the last class, we were using... There is in singular and there are in plural, right? Now, we are using adjectives to describe the places, right? To describe the places. So, if no question, we're going to uh, share with a marvelous and very nice uh, activity, right? I want to share. This acti activity, let me share. Okay. Good, here, right? Now, uh, this is an exercise about some places in the, in the neighborhood, look. Okay, let me see. Here, right? Creo que por aquí lo podemos enseñar. Ok, good. What's a barbershop? It's a place where you... What? It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. It's a place where you buy food. It's a place where you buy... Cars and paper. 
is a place right where you see a movie or play where or where you made reservation for a trip it's a place where you borrow books pide prestados libros right by the way let me explain to you right borrow is pedir prestado and lend is dar prestado Okay, when you say, I borrow your book, you say, yo te pido a ti tu libro para yo usarlo, right? And then you say, I lend my book, yo te doy mi libro a ti para que tú lo uses, es prestado, pero te lo voy a dar yo a ti. Lend, right? Understand? Okay. So, in this case, we say, it's a place where you borrow books. Good. Number one. It's a letter D. Letter D. It's a haircut. Okay. Grocery store. It, what's a grocery store? It's a place where you? Buy food. Where you buy food. So letter B, right? Okie dokie. Laundromat. It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. So it's letter A, a right? Letter A. Good. A library. Letter? G. Letter G. Is a place where you borrow books. It's a place where you borrow books, right? In my time, some people didn't return the books. It means, ooh, hace tantos años, right? Estaban los libros y no los regresaban a la biblioteca. <laughs> okay, now, stationary store. What's a stationary store? Uh huh. Mm, it's a place C. where you letter C. Letter C. Buy cards and paper. Okay. What's a theater? What's a theater class? I can see the letters, but... Ah, okay, wait a minute. Yes, you're right. Perdón, que oso. Que oso, sorry. E. Letter E. Letter E. Letter E. When you see a, a movie or a play, right? A movie or play. So it says, Romeo, Romeo, where are you that I don't see you? Right? Be or not to be, that is the question. Right? Okay. Talking about this. Eh, mm -hmm. En este caso, play significa eso, como, como una obra de teatro. Mm -hmm. Play significa muchas cosas. Significa eh, jugar, right? tocar. Y play es una obra de, de teatro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Una obra, for example, number one, right? <clears throat> en la primera. Va por el camino y se encuentra una, un bote de leche. Cae el telón. Segunda escena, va caminando y en el camino se encuentra un trozo de queso. Tercera escena, va caminando y se encuentra un yogur. What's the name of the play? ¿Cómo se llama la obra? La Vía Láctea. Okay, now, in English, the Milky Way, right? The Milky Way. 
Now, travel agency. Letter F. Letter F. May a travel agency is a place where you make reservation for a trip. Correct. Okay, I am a little tired. Estoy cansadito, so let me see. Gracias, Maria. You help me, please. You are going to make questions to all the students that you want. And you're going to say, Gracias, Maria, eh, Fulanito, Delia, or Kenya, or, hmm. what's a barber shop? The person is going to answer. Mm -hmm. The place where you, okay? Gracias, María. Elsa, Elsa. 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 What's a bar shop? It's a place where you get a haircut. Continue, gracias, María. Continue. Um, seven Delia. Big, seven big, no, sorry, seven <laughs> students, excuse me. Delia, what's a grocery store? See, it's a place where, where you buy food. Okay, Elsa and, and, and uh, Delia, right? Two students. Now, continue. We need seven students. Um, I will give you the names. Le voy a los nombres. Ajá, ok, Kenya, very good. Kenya, what's up? Laundromat. It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. Uh, Jessica, what's a labor library? It's a place where you borrow books um, René no, Maria René is listening Maria René is and René Alexia are listening René we Alex. have Evelyn, William and Erenia uh, Erenia what's a stationery store it's a place where you by card and data. Okay, very good. Continue, gracias, Maria. We have Alma. also uh, we have Jonathan. Brenda. Jonathan, what's uh, a theater? Jonathan. Jonathan Edward, are you there? Okay, other oh, student, please. We have Brenda, William. Uh, William. Uh -huh. William, what's a theater? It's a place where you see a move or play. Um, Brenda, what's a travel agency? It's a place where you. Uh, where you make reservation for a trip. Nice, very good. Now we're going to invent some things, right? Uh, I will start with Erenia. Erenia, what's a clothing store? A clothing store. It's a place where you can were you? It is a place where you find new fashion. Where you find a new fashion. Okay, fashion, right? Okay, a tienda de ropa, right? Clothing store, good. Now, ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> The answer is here, right? Aquí estaba la respuesta. <laughs> qué oso, qué oso el teacher. <laughs> okay. Now, drugstore, right? 
What is a drugstore? Erin is very intelligent. No? Excellent. Now, William, what's a drugstore? William, what's a drugstore? Okay, Evelyn, please. What's a drugstore, Evelyn? It's a place where you they sell medicines. Where you buy medicine, right? Medicine or get. Buy. When you get or you, you buy. Good. And we can make many examples, right? But I will make an, another question, right? Elsa, what, what's a pupuseria? It's a beautiful place, teacher. It's a place what? It's a place uh, where you can buy pupusas. Yeah, very good. Very popular in the south, right? What's a chilateria? No, no. No, come on. That's okay. Now? Uh, we're going to guess, right? We're going to guess. Ready? I don't... Ah, here, right? <clears throat> okay, class. Ready? It's a place where you buy food. Supermarket. A supermarket where? It's a place where you make reservations. In a ho hotel? A, a hotel? Could be. Travel yeah. agency. Travel or agency restaurant? or restaurant. Mm, no, no, restaurant, no, right? Could be a hotel or could be a travel agency, right? Good. It's a place where you get a haircut. Barbershop. A barbershop. It's a barbershop. It's a place where you borrow books. A uh, library. Library. Yes. It's a place where you eat nuegados. Chilateria. Chilateria. It's a chilateria. <laughs> okay. Very good. Now, let's continue. Uh, let's continue. What happened? Ah, uh, here, right? Now we have a conversation. Good. Now... Okay, very good. Here, right? Now listen to the conversation. <laughs> Sorry. Listen to the conversation. Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay. A hidden message, mes mensaje oculto, right? There is a barber shop. Okay, uh, do you know the difference between a, a, a dry cleaner and a laundromat? Dry cleaner is uh, for a special clothes. Mm -hmm. So, so. Teacher. Uh huh. What's the deal? Hello. Hello. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> 
It's only sweet. Sorry? It's only sweet. Cling only uh, sweet. I understand. It's only suit. Suit, excuse me. No, a dry cleaner, they, they clean and wash everything. A special and no special clothes. Well, the difference is the kind of service. In a laundromat, you go and you wash the clothes. You put some coins, and then you start working on the machine, and you wash the clothes in a laundromat. But if you go to the dry cleaner, they wash the clothes for you. And it's more expensive, of course, right? The I laundromat. Know, so dry, dry cleaning is all uh, trajes. <laughs> No. Y no los lavan. Bueno, yo en la dry clean que hay aquí por mi casa, yo llevo mi ropa y me la lavan, pero también la lavandería sí yo la lavo. Así oh. es. O sea, dry clean para mí es que yo llevo un traje y me lo lavan. Pero en la lavandería yo llevo mi ropa y yo la lavo. Yes, you are right. You are right. But in the dry cleaner, eh, José Atilio, no only suits, no solo trajes, camisas, pantalones, vestidos, everything, right? But you are totally right. You're totally right. In the laundromat, you wash. In the dry cleaners, they wash for you, right? Understand? I guess the same in Salvador. I have a laundromat near here. Aquí por donde vivo hay una laundromat. Le echa monedita a las máquinas y a usted lava. Pero también está Jet Cleaners, que está allá por la Roosevelt. Se lleva su ropa y se la lava. Obviamente uno va a llevar la camiseta de los Minions, <ríe> la camiseta de Goku, <ríe> va a llevar ropa, no sé, fina, ¿no? Que no se la arruinen. Yes, understand? Ok. Thank you, José Atilio. Yes. Yeah, you got it. Ok, good. Now, let's listen again the conversation. Listen. Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? A barber shop? <laughs> okay, good. Now listen and repeat. Size 2. Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? A barber shop? Okay, good. Mrs. O'Day and Jack, I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. Come on, guys. Two volunteers, please. When you say me, say your name, right? Sí, okay, eh, Ingrid o, o Kenia, sorry. Yo, teacher. 
Ingrid. Okay, thank you, Ingrid. And anybody else? Me, Delia. Delia. Ah, Delia and Ingrid. That's it, right? So, Delia, you are Jack, and Ingrid, you are Mrs. O'Day. Ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's barbershop in the shopping center too. A barbershop? Thank you very much, right? A barbershop? Very hairy. How do you say peludo? Hairy. He come from hair, pelo, right? Hair, hairy, peludo. Peludation, right? Now, two more volunteers, please. Two more volunteers. Ajá, gracias, María. En. Ajá, gracias, María. En. Come on, guys, wake up. Volunteers. Gracias, María. En. Elsa. Ok, thank you, Elsa. Thank you very much. Ok, ya me habían dejado sola, gracias María, qué malos. Ok, Elsa, please. One, uh, you're Jack, Elsa. And okay. gracias María, you're uh, Mrs. Day, right? Action. Excuse me. Uh, I'm your neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And and is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across for the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center, center too. A barber shop? A barber shop, right? By the way, you can take a shower. <laughs> okay. Very good, right? Now, notice that we're using there is, right? There is one. Here, there is one across. There is a barber shop. So we're using there is, right? Oh, question. Are there? Are there? Now let's go to the exercise and make it right. Listen, please. Page 51, exercise 3, grammar focus. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind, between, on the corner of. Okay, class, I will uh, translate this uh, preposition. Right? On, remember, we will say last class, that is when we talk about surface, superficie, right? on. Next to means a la par de. Here, 
apenas le veo el pelito a Delia, pero sí, eh, eh, aquí en la cámara estoy a la par de ella, ¿verdad? <ríe> next to, a la par de, next to, right? En la clase, ahí estamos a la par. O podemos decir, eh, Elsa está a la par de Gracia María, right? Ahorita, ahí están posicionadas en la cámara. <ríe> okay, next to, next to, right? And also we have near and close to es lo mismo, cerca de. Across from, opposite, o in front of, quiere decir enfrente de. Opuesto a, ¿no? O cruzando la calle para el otro lugar. In back or behind, o behind, pues, atrás. In between, you can say Delia is between the teacher and Elsa. ¿Ven en la cámara? Bueno, no sé a ustedes si les aparece así. Pero Delia está en medio del teacher y de Elsa. ¿Ok? Good. Eh, luego tenemos... Ah, ya había dicho en back, que es atrás. ¿va? Y on the corner of, que es en la esquina de... Estoy en una canción ahí, ¿verdad? Que no te digan en la esquina el, el venado, el venado. On the corner of. On the corner of, right? Good. Any question? No questions? Okay. Now, let's work. It's time to work. Now, it says, look at the map, right? And you're going to say, if they are the, these places in the map. For example, a bank, a department store, an electronic store. A gas station, grocery store, etc., etc., right? Okay, in this map. What are we going to do? I'm going to reduce the size. Vamos a bajarle el tamaño. Okay, good, right? And we, we made the question, right? Is there a bank around here? Is there uh, an electronic store around here, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, we're going to do something, right? One student is going to make the question and, uh, and the other student the answer, right? So, and if you see other place, please tell me, right? Let me go with the, I will uh, use my, my, my drone, right? My drone says, Ah, uh, shopping center, right? Just for a second. Okay. Shopping center, right? A public library. A gas station. Nas First National Bank. Okay. Then we have Prince... Grocery store, right? The Kim Plaza Hotel. We have the Frank's Cafe. The Rosa's Restaurant, right? Competencia. La com Jameson, Jameson Hotel. Okay. Parker's Drugstore. And top shoes, mom and pop. Let me see. Okay, sorry. Se me trabó. Ah, aquí está el sonido se me trabó. Okay, good. Oh, days department store. And I guess that's it. Solo eso creo que hay. Now, the, the streets and the avenue, right? The second avenue. Okay. The first avenue, the main street. The Ma Maple Avenue, the Pine Street, etc., etc., right? Now, 
is make it smaller. Ah, Elm Street. Look, there is an Elm Street, right? So let's just start with one, right? Uh, Elsa, you're going to make the question to Jessica Carolina, right? Jessica Carolina to Estenia, okay? And I will Thank tell you, you more, right? So is there, is there? Remember, it's a question, right? I will copy okay. here. Look at this. Is there, look, Elsa. Is there, right? Oh, in plural, are there. Okay, good. Jessica, mm -hmm. is there a post office in this neighborhood? Okay, Jessica Carolina, listen. This part is very difficult because you have to go and look in the map. Look in the map, right? And use this preposition. Vamos a repasarla una vez más para que Jessica Carolina se ubique. On, <coughs> sobre, right? For example, you say on Pine Street. Está on, on Pine Street. Next to, a la par de. Near, close to, cerca de. Across from, opposite, uh, in front of, significa cruzando en la calle, está en front, right? Eh, in back of, or behind, behind, right? is atrás de. Between is en medio, and on the corner of is en la esquina de, right? Okay. Now, can you repeat the question, Elsa? Please. Okay. Jessica. Is there a post, post office in this neighbor, neighborhood? Is between? Look and... at the answer. Look at the answer. Ah, no, no, no está en la respuesta. Sorry, continue. <laughs> <laughs> qué oso, qué oso. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, is there is there is there is there is mm. teacher cuál era enfrente de o algo así in front of opposite in of front, o across from las tres significan in, vamos a ver ahorita si quieres aquí ve across from opposite and in front of there is in front of park. Okay. There is... Thank you. A, no, come on. Thank you, right? <laughs> there is one in front of the of the park, right? Jessica, Carolina, I need you make the question to Estenia. <clears throat> okay. Is there, you're going to say, is there, or plural, there? are there? Because look, there are two hotels. There are two restaurants. There are two national banks. I don't know, only one bank. But in th those cases, you can say, is there or are there, right? Oh, okay. In plural. Is there a public library? Mm. Yes. There is next to there is a one? library. There is one. It is one. There is one. Uh -huh. Hay una. Okay. okay, sorry. Okay, I will explain it. Lo voy a explicar para que... <clears throat> is there a laundromat in here? Yes, there is. Y luego decimos, there is one. Hay una. Eh? Oh, y aquí, okay. aquí va lo, lo difícil que le va a tocar a Estenia, ¿verdad? Ahí pongamos listos los colochitos para que veamos cómo poner esas proposiciones, ¿sí? ¿eh? There is one across from, on, next to, near. Recuérdese, Estenia, que en las direcciones cualquier cosa es válida, ¿no? El que está enfrente, a la par, a un lado, eh, atrás, en medio de, etcétera, etcétera, right? Okay, ready? Okay. Repeat the question, um, Jessica Carolina. Is there a post office? 
public library. Library? Library. Okay. Yes, there is there one next to from the building. There is one in front of next to and uh, next to the building. Uh, okay, the building is a construction, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. Pero no tiene nombre el, <ríe> el building. ¿Debe de ser algún nombre de, del dibujo o Ajá. real? De... No, no, no. No, en el mapa, right? Tiene que ser en el mapa que estamos aquí enseñando. ¿Sí alcanza a ver el mapa, Estenia? Ahorita. Ah, sí. <ríe> ok. Um, ok, rápido. Yes, there is, there one, there is one, next, there is one, there is one, there is one, there is one, next to building gas station. Okay, next to the, the gas station, right? Okay, thank you. Now, Stenia, your question, please. And the student, who's the student? Ah, sorry. Stenia, to... Uh, Quiero ver si ya se activó eh, Freddy. Uh, no, no está activado Freddy. Entonces vamos a ver, Estenia. Este, está complicado porque hay varios que están de oyentes. Vamos a ver, Estenia. Mi teacher. Ah, ok, José Tino, nice. Eh, okay. Voy a, de acuerdo con el listado, pero... Jamás voy a rechazar un alumno que quiera participar. Así que, congratulations. Ok, come on. Ok. Is there a post office near here? Yes, there is. Uh, there are ones between First Avenue and Main Street in the corner. Ok. Nice, José Atilio. Now, José Atilio, you're going to make the question to... Estaba viendo el listado aquí, permítame. Eh, Gracias, María. Yes, Gracias, María. José Atilio en Gracias, María. Excuse me. Is Excuse there me. a laundromat here? Is there a post office here? Etc. Okay. Excuse me, Jose Maria. Is there a Parker Dog Store in the neighborhood? Mm, sorry, Jose Atilio. A what? A park? Yes. Park Dog Store. Yes, there is. Parker's dog, dog store. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, there is. There is one. Uh, it's between the Mom and Pop's mm -hmm. grocery and Top's shoes. Good. <laughs> Don't good. Forget it, but, but but it's good, right? Uh, the question is, uh, uh, Jose Atilio, is there a drugstore around here? Is there a drugstore? Yes. There is one between Mom and Pop's Grocery and Top Shoe, right? Excellent. Congratulations, right? Now, Gracia Maria, you make the question to... Uh, to Ada, right? Ada... Yes. Pero, eh, Ada está participando, ¿verdad? Perdón que no. Hasta sí, ahorita. Sí sí. sí, sí, perdón, no la había tomado en cuenta, Ada. Disculpe, pero también levánteme la mano ahí para. <ríe> perdón, qué oso, qué oso. Ok. Please, gracias, María. Ada, ¿is there a post office here? Ok, gracias, María. Sorry, que creo que el post office ya lo utilizamos, ¿verdad? 
Tal Ok. vez vamos a ver algún hotel ahí. Voy a hacerlo más pequeño Uh, uh, y se me... is there a hotel here? Ajá. Va a decir, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is one. There is one. Y ahora nos dice la local. ¿Cómo está? Between. Quiere que le... le ah, dale. Le enseño otra vez Sí, los... por favor. Ok. Uh -huh. On. Si quiere decir el nombre de la calle. ¿ve? Elm Street. O puede decir, mire, en la esquina de B, on the corner of Elm and Maple. Maple Avenue, right? Puede decir también, next to, quiero ver. Bueno, el Jameson Hotel está a la parte de Frank's Café, B. Ajá. Puede decir, near, close to, cerca de, near to the park, está cerca del parque, mire. Está cerquita aquí. También puede decir, across from... Across from eh, Rosas Restaurant, que parece el restaurante de la Nueva Rosa. Sería Ah, no, todo terminó, ya, el último, el último, el último. También está eh, on the, ah, ya habíamos dicho esto, ¿verdad? On the corner of Maple and Elm Street. Ok, now, ready? Yes, Yes, there is, yes, there is. yes, there is a There is poster, one, there is, there is one. there is one, a coaster, Ross, Rosas restaurant. Rosa Restaurant, right? Okay, very good. Excellent, right? Now, Ada, you make the question, please. The question goes to, let me see. Jonathan, to Jonathan, Ada. Excuse me. Is there a bank around here? Excuse me. Is there a restaurant around here? Excuse me. Is there a shoe store around here? Is there a gas station around here? Okay. Excuse me, Jonathan. Is there a, a parked drug store? Oh, sorry. Repeat. Is is excuse me. Is there are are parked drug Ah, store? a park. A par, Ah, a park. a par, <laughs> okay. Is there a park around here? Ajá, uh -huh, Jonathan. uh, yes, there is. There is one be between Second Avenue, my street. In Um, between the, the second next avenue to and first avenue, right? The second and first avenue. Next to? next to um top shoes. Top shoes, right? Top shoes. Uh, no, perdón, yo estoy confundido. ¿Estamos hablando del parque? The park? No. ¿O de Parker's Dog Store? Parker Dog Store. Le entendí así, no sé. No, creo que no, creo que no. ¿Cuál era? Sí, el Parker Dog Store. Ah, no, no, ok, pero perdón, entonces voy a aclarar esto, ¿verdad? Perdón que lo diga en español. Eh, no podemos decir Parker, ¿hay algún Parker Dog Store? Tal vez que sea bien popular como la Pizza Hut, ¿verdad? O Pollo Campero. Y si era Pollo Campero, pero no, no, no debemos decir el nombre, debemos decir, por ejemplo, Drug Store. Department store, gym, eh, a café, a restaurant, pero sin decir el nombre, ¿sí? Porque decir, mira, hay un restaurante aquí. Sigo, sí, hay un mamachus, ¿ok? Mamachus. Ya han ido a mamachus, va buena la carne. Ok, eh, hay un mamachus. No, no, debemos decir, hay una, un restaurante de carne, tal vez, ¿va? Sí. 
There is one, hay uno, se llama Park. Por ejemplo, si pregunto sobre el drugstore. Excuse me, is there a drugstore around here? Hay una, una farmacia. Yes. There is one between mom and pop's grocery and top shoe, right? Right. Ok, sí, más o menos. Es que un poquito, cuando hablamos de direcciones, es un poquito complicado. Pero creo que lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Solo hay unos detallitos nada más. Ok. Now, Ada, make the question again. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is there? Is there? Is there? Uh, entonces le di otro. A otro lugar. <laughs> okay. Ah, no, es que pensé que era, pero no, sí no, le entendí. No, Entonces, no, 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 pero lo dijo bien, Diga, lo dijo bien, ¿cómo nada? No, no, se me desanime, ya, oh, ya le desanime, sorry. <risa> <risa> Vamos. Entonces, a, do, a drugstore. A drugstore, ok, Así. vamos a ver. Ajá, excuse me, doctor. excuse me, is there a drugstore? Ah. Excuse me, is there a, do, a drugstore? Around here? Yes, there is. There is one next to um, Mon, Mon and Pops, Russell, and Top Shop. Uh -huh. It's between. Jonathan, is between. Between. Uh -huh. Second medio point. De. No, no. Oh, bitch. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. Es que si se fija, el negocio está en medio de otros dos negocios. Entonces usted va a decir, le, le preguntaron, ¿Is there a drugstore around here? Mire, ¿Is there a drugstore around here? Entonces usted ve que la farmacia está rodeada por dos lugares. ¿va? Yes, there is one between Mom's and Pop's Grocery and Top Shoes. O puede decir también, There is one in front of Odey's department store. O puede decir, there is one, ¿en qué calle estaría? En la Pine Street, mire, aquí va la calle. There is one on, on Pine there Street. Is one. Ok, hoy sí, vamos, Jonathan. Ok. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is one between muy pots um, top shop excelentoso Jonathan I like you right bueno creo que uno dos más para que si no se me van a dormir con este ejercicio ok now eh, Jonathan let me see Jonathan Brenda tu Brenda right ok si una pupusería okay. por ahí nos avisa <ríe> Jonathan <ríe> ok Um, excuse me. There is a is there electronics? is there is there. Oh. Excuse, uh, excuse me. There is is there. Oh, is there a electronic store? Excuse me. Is there an electronic store around here? Repeat, come on. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. Is there a electronic around here? Yes, there is. There is next to. There is one. There is one. Yes, there is one next to a post office. Uh huh. Bueno, creo que está del, eh, atrás de, ¿verdad? ¿No? ¿Sí? Oh, sí. Ajá, sí, sí. atrás de. Entonces podemos usar este, mire. In back o mm -hmm. behind, right? In back. Ok. Yes, there is one. Yes, there is one. Uh, behind 
the post office. Excelente uso. I like it, right? Uh, ya lo entendimos, ya lo entendimos. Ok. Very good. Now, Brenda. Eh, Brenda, tú. Es que hay poquitos oyentes. Eh, José Atilio ya está presente. Ah, pues sí, con, a José Atilio. Hágame unas cinco preguntas para que lo despierte ahí, ¿ok? Ok. Um, Atilio, is there public lib library? Library. 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 Yes. There is. There are ones on on down main street. On main next. street. On main uh -huh. street. Right? Main street. Oh. Uh -huh. Jose Atilio, next to next to the perdón. section. Ajá. Perdón, que usted me está cantando la canción Down on, down on Main Street. <risa> yes. ¿Sí o no? Pero es que down yeah. quiere decir como eh, caminando un poco hacia adelante de la calle, ¿no? Down, down the street. Down on Main Street. Así, mira, lo voy a escribir. Ah, ok. Va, por Va. Para. Eh, Yo había entendido para... también que era como al final de. No, no, al final no, es adelante, un poquito adelante, o sea, ah, usted, está, usted está en la calle y le dice, mire, váyase un poco adelantito de, de, la, de la calle principal y ahí lo va a hallar, ¿sí? Down, down Main on Street. Main Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Así dice la canción, mire, down on Main Street. Uh, down on Main okay. Street, ajá. Pero usted solo okay. diga on Main Street, nada más, ¿ok? Main Street, ok. okay. otra vez, vamos a ver, una vez más. Okay, uh, yes, there is, there, there's one on Main Street. Okay, nice, thank you very much. Now, uh, Jose Atilio, you make the question to Evelyn. Evelyn, is there um Department department stores around here. Give me a moment, please. Oh. Look at the mask. <laughs> um, department store. Department store, yeah. Okay. Yes, there is. Um, a la par como era next to <laughs> next to. yes there is next to there is one Joyce G. wait wait there is one there is, okay there is one next to Joyce Jim nice right other possibility there is one on main street there okay is, there is one behind Parker's drugstore Okay, there is one next to the, close to the park, right? Cerca del parque está ahí. Excellent, excellent. There are many ways, oh, right? Or oh, oh, across, mm -hmm. across of um, mom and pop grocery. Ajá, uh -huh, esa no es posible, across from, aunque eh, está en la parte de atrás, pero sí, sí se puede, yes. Okay, now, eh, let me see, Evelyn, you go to William, please. Remember, you say, excuse me. Is there, here, look, excuse me. Is there a laundromat here? Are there any grocery stores in plural, right? Okay. William. Is there First National Bank? No, is there a bank? Oh, wait. Well. William, excuse me. Is there a bank? Yes, there is one next to Princess Grocery Store. Okay. Let me see Princess Grocery Store, right? Yes. 
Nice, nice. Good, William. Uh, to Erenia, and we finish, right? What time is it? Ooh, it's me. very late. Excuse me, Erenia. Is there... Um, just around... Around here? Around here? Many options, yes. Erenia. Many options, huh? Come on. Yes, there is. There is one. On Napoli Island. Only that? Ahí tiene un montón de posibilidades. On, on the... Eh. <laughs> Across from the... En la Crossroad de Plaza Hotel. Excellent, very good, nice, right? And you can also say on the corner of Pine Street and Maple Avenue, right? Many possibilities, okay? Okay, very good. This exercise was complicated, but good. Right now, we're going to make another exercise. Right, the reduction of there is and there are. Listen, please. Page 52, exercise 4, pronunciation. Reduction of there is, there are. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how there is and there are are reduced in conversation, except for short answers. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some on Pine Street. Okay. There are, there are, there are, there's, 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 right? Okay, the only, well, you can make contraction. The only way you can make contraction, right, or reduction is when we, you will answer, it says, is there a laundromat? Yes, there is. You don't say, yes, there's, yes, there's. <laughs> no, yes, there is, right? But then you say, there is one, right, or there are. Notice there are, there are, there are some on Pine Street, right? Okay, now let's continue, right? right? Uh, take turn asking and answering questions of places like this in your neighbor, right? We're going to talk about Lourdes. We're going to talk about San Miguel. No, no, San Rafael Cedro, sorry. We're going to talk about San Salvador, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, one volunteer, I'm going to pay voluntary, right? One volunteer ask another student, right? About one of these places, right? Alguien va a preguntar sobre un karaoke bar, right? A library, a movie theater, a bar, restaurant, et cetera. Eh, el concepto de dance club en Estados Unidos es diferente al <coughs> al que tenemos aquí en nuestro país, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok. Dance Club es un lugar donde sí se van a, a bailar, ¿sí, sí me entiende? <ríe> ok. Eh, gym, cupucería, chilatería, etcétera, etcétera, ¿right? Eh, y pues inventen ahí, ¿verdad? Podemos inventar que está enfrente del parque, a la par de un almacén, etcétera, etcétera, ¿right? Ok, volunteers, please. Vamos a ver quién va a hacer la primera pregunta. Me. Ok, José Atilio, please. Choose one of these. Ah, mm. and the victim. Ah, sorry, the student. <laughs> and the student, too. Mm. Tengo en el menú, tengo a Jessica Carolina, a Elsa, a... Uh, Gracias, María. Ada. Mi teacher. Oh, ok, good. Un voluntario propio, muy bien. Uh, who, who is it? Eh, Elsa. Elsa. Ok, so make the question to Elsa. And, ok, good, sorry. Aquí tenemos algunas expresiones que podemos usar. Sorry, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think there is one... 
across from the pharmacy. Oh, yes, of course. There is one uh, on Maple Street. There is one on, on Main Street. Algo así, sí. Entonces vamos a usar una de estas expresiones o la que ustedes quieran, pero la cosa es describir el lugar. ¿Ok? ¿Ready? One, two, yeah. three, action. Elsa, excuse me. Is there a movie theater in your neighborhood? Excuse me, I don't understand your, your question. You can repeat me, please. <laughs> okay. Pay attention, please. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Elsa, is there a good movie theater in your neighborhood? Movie theater. Okay. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, uh, there is next to... There is one? There is one? There is one to next... Uh, ¿Cómo se decía alcaldía, teacher? Uh, city Hall. City Hall. Oh, is this true? Uh, ¿Es cierto en la vida real? No. No, ok. <laughs> city Hall, no. right. City Hall. Ah, oh, yo pensé que... <laughs> Elsa, ¿dónde en Antigua vive usted, verdad? No, en Metapán. Ah, Metapán, yes. Ok, eh, no, no hay cines en Metapán, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? No. Oh, bueno. A mí me fascina Metapán. El parque sí es bien chido. Ah, ok. No, a mí me llevaron a un restaurante en Metapán, pero una comida deliciosa, no me acuerdo ni el nombre. Y me llevaron a Limo. Él se conoce Limo. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Pues sí, le cuento que clima. íbamos siguiendo el bus para ir de Metapán a Limo y me hice una fisura en, en el pie. Sí, ¿verdad? Y aún así subí la montaña y bajé. Mm, <ríe> okay, qué bárbaro. Pero este sí. lugar es bon... precioso, es como un paraíso no, el lago que está ahí, ¿verdad? No fue, no fue la cocina de Metapán que lo llevan, que mm. se ve en la, en la laguna, ¿no? No, ah, pues no, 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 puedo otro, otro, lugar. otro creo que es Los Remos, creo que es otro. Los Remos me parece conocido, pero bien. Mm -hmm. Ok, continue, please. Now, eh, another, another volunteer, please. Thank you, Jose Atilio. Thank you, Elsa. Another two volunteers. Let me see what time is it. Uh, el último vamos a hacer entonces, yes. Two volunteers. Uno hace la pregunta y otro responde. Oh, come on, please. Ya practicamos bastante, ya. Yes? Ah, pues aquí nos vamos a quedar. <laughs> okay, come on. Volunteers. Bueno, entonces yo voy a tomar mi propio voluntario. Vamos yeah, a ver. In the answer. Okay, José a ti le va a responder. Entonces solo hagan la pregunta. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar? A Erenia, vamos a escoger. Erenia, vamos a ver. Ladies and gentlemen, from San Rafael Cedros, question to José Atilio. Ajá, Erenia. José Atilio, excuse me, is there a bookstore around here? A bookstore. Mm -hmm. A bookstore. Um, I'm not sure. Why I, why I think there ones, uh, next to the bank. Okay. Nice. This is the most important part, right? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Perdona que los presione tanto a participar, verdad? Pero ya cuando esté en el nivel dos, quiero que con el otro teacher se ponga ahí las pilas para responder, verdad? Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, esta noche nos vamos a quedar. Tengo dos candidatos, Erenia y Evelyn. Ok. ¿Quién se va a quedar conmigo? Vamos a ver. Diez minutitos. Ah, Erenia? Yes. Ok. Thank you, Erenia. Ya la anotamos acá. Yes. 
Ok, uh, les tengo dos noticias antes de terminar. Eh, el día de mañana, pues, vamos a tener clase, obviamente. Eh, y sería la última sesión para individual, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si quiere Evelyn mañana. Este, me falta también María René y Jessica Pérez, ¿verdad? Pero si no, alguien que quiera repetirse, pues también puede hacerlo. Y el día lunes, pues, sería el último día y la sesión no la voy a hacer con un alumno, la voy a hacer con todos, todos nos vamos a quedar, ¿verdad? Les tengo unas sorpresas por ahí al final de la clase, pues, el día lunes. Y repito, por favor, toda la semana lo he pedido, ¿verdad? No me vayan a fallar el lunes porque la encuesta es un requisito para pasar al básico 2, ¿verdad? Así que, por favorcito, no me fallen. Y si hubiera algún accidente o algo, pues, Uh, habrá que comunicarse con inglés corporativo, pero por favor, si no hay accidentes o algo grave, pues el lunes los quiero en la clase, por favor, sí, ok, thank you very much, now, pero no va a haber observaciones el lunes, no, sí, bastante, bastante, <risa> obras de teatro también, <risa> ok, José Tilo, thank you, now, eh, Elsa, present, good night, okay, good night, eh, Jessica Carolina. Present. Good night. Good night. Jessica Araceli. Ar... Oh, wow. <ríe> eh, Stenia. Present. Good okay, night. Good night, Stenia. God bless you, Freddy. Ok, ahí está. En... Espero que nos traiga algo de Perú, Freddy. Vamos a ver, present. Ok. Aquí dice Freddy. Ok, thank you, Freddy. Eh, Kenia. Gracias, María. Present, teacher. Delia. Present, good night. Present, good night. teacher. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Eh, Ada. Present, teacher. Bye, bye. God bless you. See you bye, tomorrow. Bye. bye. Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, have a good, good night, night, Jonathan. Good night. Eh, René Alexia me puso presente ahí. Brenda. Present, good night. Good night. Ingrid. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Jessica Pérez. José Atilio. Present teacher, pero... Le voy a quitar un minuto a Erenia. Dice que amarrar un minuto. Bye, nos, quedamos, nos quedamos los tres ahí. Nos quedamos los tres. Ah, ok. okay eh, Brenda Lee. María René. Ahí me pone presente en el, en el chat, chicas. Eh, Evelyn. Present teacher. Okay, have a good night, Evelyn. Cuida, la, princes cuida la princesita. William. Good night. Good night. God bless you, William. See you tomorrow. Irenia. Yes, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Kenia. Hello, Kenia. Hi, present teacher. Aquí okay, voy llegando a mi casa. Okay. Gracias a Dios que ya va llegando. Espero sí. que todo le me, Mañana bien. me pongo el día con la, con la clase. Okay, no problem, Kenia. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Chao. Chao. <laughs> Ok, very good. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién nos quedamos unos 20 minutos aquí los tres? Va? <ríe> no, son mentiras. José uh, Tilo, vamos hey. a ver. ¿Cuál era la no, pregunta? La pregunta mía era porque, bueno, no me pude conectar en toda la clase, pero cuando me conecté dijo algo bien interesante y por eso quise preguntarse. Que dijo que en, por lo general los objetivos iban antes de, de lo que de se está hablando, nombre, ¿verdad? Del nombre, del nombre. Ah, del nombre, o como nosotros lo hacemos al revés en español, pero dijo que había un caso que sí. Ah, sí. Era, entonces eso quería saber por ah, qué no. y cuál es. Ahorita mismo o antes, si se puede, permítame. Igual para, para Erenia, para ilustrarle, ¿verdad? Este, the red car, ¿verdad? El carro rojo, the red mm. cars. Entonces, el red es el adjetivo y el car es el nombre, ¿sí? El nombre. Ah, pero si yo, yo digo the car is red. Ah, okay. O en plural. 
the cars are red. Pero ahí está usando el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Sí, ah, correcto. Yes. Es que Ajá. es la excepción, eso es lo que le quería decir. Ajá. La única excepción de cuando se pone primero el nombre y luego el adjetivo es cuando usamos el verbo to be. Teacher, y fíjese que también me... Y perdón, ahí era en mi clase quitando el tiempo. <risa> no, ahí estamos aprendiendo, no se preocupe. Ajá. Ajá. Lo otro que he estado, me estaba fijando en, en, en conjunto, lo que hemos visto, es que hemos estado usando mucho el auxiliar do, pero, pero hemos usado muy, muy poco el verbo to be. Sí, pero, es cierto. El verbo to be para preguntar es... ¿Qué es? Cuando quiero saber dónde está alguien o, o exactamente... Correcto, o qué es. ¿Qué es alguien? ¿O qué es otra cosa? Por ejemplo, yo puedo preguntar a usted, mire, ¿y eso qué va? O, uh -huh. ¿O dónde está aquello? ¿O dónde está cierta persona? Le puedo decir, ¿dónde está Erenia, por ejemplo? ¿Y Serenia en San Rafael Cedros? ¿Usted, ¿Pues Tilly? Yes. Yes, she? She is. Uh -huh. Yes, she is. Right, ok. ¿Y Serenia an engineer? Yes. She is an engineer. She's an engineer. ¿Y Serenia Salvadorian? Yes, she is. Yes, she Salvadorian. No, yes, she is. She is Salvadorian. She is. Ah. Ah, okay. ¿Y Serenia from Cujucuyo? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Entonces le estoy preguntando sobre qué es Serenia. ¿A qué se dedica? ¿Cuál es su profesión? Etcétera, etcétera. ¿O dónde está? Ya, para mm -hmm. eso es el verbo to be. Pero entonces lo, lo, por eso no me he enfocado más en el, en el do como auxiliar porque es como preguntar por cosas más generales. Es que el do eh, o sea, es lo que usted hace todos los días. Ajá. Comer, correr, trabajar, dormir, respirar, tomar, etcétera, etcétera. Lo que hacemos todos los días es más común. El verbo to be y el presente simple son de los más comunes, ¿verdad? Que se usan inclusive en español, ¿verdad? Así que por bueno, eso que hemos estado usando bastante el do y el das. Bueno, ahora sí que preguntes. <risa> vamos a ver, sí, vamos a ver. Eh, Erenia, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? Eh, solo si pudiera explicarme un poco más lo de, lo de cuando se usa what, for, where. Bueno, where sí se dice. Ah, lo, las, las question words, claro que sí. Hombre. Ahorita mismo o antes, si se puede, permítame. Vaya. Eh, básicamente voy a comenzar diciendo que hay dos tipos de preguntas. ¿va? Ya que dijo este, José Atilio el verbo to be, pues vamos a enfocarnos en el verbo to be. ¿verdad? Hay dos tipos de preguntas. ¿Are you a student? Okay, este tipo de pregunta se llama yes and no. Yes, I am. Sí, yo soy un estudiante. O no. I am not. ¿Ok? Sí y no. Pero si yo utilizo una, una palabra de WH word, ¿viene? WH, ¿ven? Como what is your name. No voy a responder con yes I am, ¿verdad? And, no, no. Eh. Con algo que me están preguntando. ¿Y qué me están preguntando? ¿Qué? ¿Sobre qué? Yo digo, my name is Javier. Right? Ok, entonces, las preguntas de información. Que están en todos los temas, por cierto. En el presente simple, pasado simple, futuro simple, presente continuo, presente perfecto. En todos están. Las preguntas de información. El should, where should I go, a dónde debería ir, ah, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces, ahí se puede usar en todos los auxiliares y temas, ¿sí? También otro nombre que reciben se llama WH words o WH question. Question. ¿Por qué? Porque todas comienzan con palabras que llevan la WH, que son how, esta la lleva al revés, cómo, where, dónde, when, cuándo, which, cuál, 
cuando usted está escogiendo entre varias cosas o dos cosas, dices, ¿cuál? ¿Cuál es el que quiere? ¿Who's? ¿De quién? Eh, ¿Why? ¿Por qué? ¿Who? ¿Para quién? Y whom, que se usa en Inglaterra y en situaciones especiales en, en Estados Unidos también, en América, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si me falta alguno. Eh, what, what me falta. What, ¿sí? Vale, es así, mire. ¿Cómo? ¿De qué manera? How? Where? ¿Dónde? When? ¿Cuándo? Which? ¿Cuál? En una opción. Eh, who's, ¿De quién? ¿De quién es este? ¿Who's this cell phone? ¿De quién es este teléfono, por ejemplo? Why, cuando pregunto de una razón. Who, cuando hablo de una persona como un sujeto. Y whom, cuando una persona como objeto. Y la palabra what, que es bien común. ¿Ok? Esas son las preguntas, las palabras de WH. WH, right? Eh, quisiera que usáramos una de estas en alguna oración. Erenia. Eh, la de Wum. Eh, Wum. Whom, whom did you give the money? ¿A quién le diste el pisto? ¿Ok? ¿A quién le diste el pisto? Whom, whom did you give the money? Otro ejemplo podría ser Whom Did you, did they, vamos a ver, take the beach? ¿A quiénes a quién llevaron ellos a, a la playa, right? ¿Sí? Entonces el whom va como un objeto. El, esa persona que llevaron es la que estamos preguntando nosotros quién es, ¿verdad? Quién es, ajá. ¿Sí? ¿Alguna otra duda, Erenia? Eh, no, solo eso. Solamente. Bueno, espero que les, les estén gustando las clases. Me agrada mucho que pregunten, especialmente a José Atilio, me agrada mucho que pregunten, así se lo digo, porque así eh, aclaro dudas de todos los demás, ¿verdad? Y ustedes dos son de los que más me participan, así que los felicito, congratulations. Pero, pero, recomiendo... pero, le quiero preguntar algo más. Solo una una recomendación, ¿verdad? Antes de la pregunta de José Atilio. Practiquen la música, ahora les envío una canción ¿verdad? De los Bee Gees. Stay in a life oh, oh, oh. Stay in a life. Mm -hmm. Ahí podemos practicar, ¿verdad? Películas mm -hmm. en inglés de muñequitos de muñequitos sin nada de español. Y también sitios de internet, ¿verdad? Esas son mis recomendaciones para estar siempre en contacto con inglés. Ahorita en adquirido ustedes un compromiso y tienen que cumplir el compromiso. Estar siempre en contacto con él. ¿Ok? José Atilio, your question. Teacher, y, y yo puedo, puedo iniciar una doble question, pero como que me estemos está, hablando y o hay una frase antes y, y entre medio o algo. Porque sí, he visto claro. unos, unos libros que están hablando de algo, ponen coma y comienzan con la doble question. Claro que sí. Si es que, es que vaya el inglés, José Atilio, no es como en los libros, porque este inglés que estamos dando es, es inglés. Sí, en el, 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 el libro, Entonces, sí. Se lo expliqué, va. Ajá. Usted puede intercalar, puede meter una pregunta de WS con otra, se llama Inverted. Eh, puede meter una pregunta de sí y no con una pregunta de información, las puede mezclar, ¿verdad? Sí, incluso eh, hay una que usamos guay, va Pero, por ejemplo, usted está explicando mientras yo estoy haciendo. Ajá, correcto, cosa. sí. Uh -huh. Puede poner una coma, dos puntos, pues, y al igual que en español, usted puede hacer. Teacher, y, una consulta, y al final, ¿puedo, ¿puedo decir algo que sea al revés de la estructura, como terminar con el HUM al final? En la sí, pregunta, generalmente si... usan no, preposiciones, sí. usan preposiciones Ajá. como with, por ejemplo, vale, le voy a poner otro un ejemplo aquí, para, ya que eh, nos pidió ejemplos, eh, Erenia. Who did you, espérenme, eh, vamos a ver. Es que he visto una proposición como, por ejemplo, Jet, que casi siempre la ponen al final. 
Ah, yet, sí, pero es en presente uh -huh. perfecto. Uh -huh. Who did, eh, did you go? Did you go with? Uh -huh. Al final va, uh -huh. sí. Uh -huh. ¿Con quién fuiste? Who did you go with? ¿Con quién fuiste? Ah, entonces se usa la proposición. Uh, pero yo final. lo que le, le, le quería preguntar es que si la W question puede ir al final cerca del signo de interrogación. Mm, Nunca. O solo, que como que lo, o solo que digamos, algo, digamos where. Es que decir algo general en un idioma ah. pues no, no es tan sencillo, permítame. Ajá, sí. Al final. Pero como que usted me diga, fíjese que tal cosa, pero yo le diga ah. al final, where. Ajá. Sí se puede, ¿verdad? La verdad es que sí, sí se puede, pero como una respuesta a otra cosa, por ejemplo, ah. eh, eh, I, I left my car, yo dejé mi carro, and then you say where, where? pero mm. en realidad está haciendo una pregunta completa, ah. solo que usted la corta, ah. where did uh -huh. you left your car, pero como ya la persona le dio el contexto, usted solo le dice where, where, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, así okay. tal vez, así tal vez se puede. Sí, es que eso, ajá, cabal eso. Sí, es decir que el idioma es riquísimo, en, al igual que en español, ¿verdad? De, usted dice una cosa de una forma, de otra, en fin, ¿verdad? Ahí cuando vayan a nivel intermedio, pues ya se van a dar gusto haciendo oraciones completas, ¿sí? <ríe> ok, thank okay. you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow, right? And of course on Monday. That is very important, right? God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay. Have a good night.